Uh, greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman29. And I thought I would come on and uh, talk a little bit about what I've been thinking about and reading about. Um, in my last video, I, I talked about uh, some influence of the uh, the Vedas on the law codes. And um, I, I looked a little more into that. And probably probably people have always known this, but it's a new discovery for me. It's how detailed um, and how far along the um, law codes of the Vedas are. And I actually sat down and took the time to, to read some of those. Um, I, I mainly was uh, going through the Vedas and um, using the Vedas as references uh, to, uh, in comparison to uh, the Psalms. And um, now I'm going through and uh, looking at the different texts uh, put put out by the uh, uh, Vedic uh, priestly caste um, on sacrifice and sacrificial um, techniques and and rituals, and they had it down pat. Uh, there's there's things that are that are missing uh, from the well. There's some differences uh, between the uh, Torah laws on ritual sacrifice and the Vedas. And some of those differences uh, are the, um, the metaphoric uh, ideas. E even though they're there, uh, they seem to be more primitive in, in the Torah. Meaning that if the uh, if, if the progression of sacrifice was allowed to go on uh, for thousands of years without being molested by uh, invasions of other nations and temple destructions and um, hindrances as such. Uh, I believe that the uh, Torah uh, rituals would have evolved into something as highly sophisticated as the Vedic sacrificial rituals that went virtually unmolested for uh, a long stretch of time, I wouldn't even begin to know uh, the time, the time frame um, on how how long it went. But to read something such as the horse sacrifice, you can you can hardly read it, and it's so. Uh, metaphorically and symbolically loaded that uh, sometimes scholars have a hard time reading it. Uh, I almost fell asleep reading it, but but, but all this stuff means something. And um, I, I'm going to post a link uh, so, so you can check out some of this stuff for yourself. And now, now, now the law codes uh, uh, on human uh, law codes like everyday life, common law codes. Uh, we're, we're definitely um, Babylonian influenced and in, uh, um, some of the others I mentioned. However, this this uh, this Vedic uh, influence is, is probably uh, m much bigger than I personally realized. Other people may have. I've never seen a study done on it. Uh, um, on the comparison of ritual sacrifice in the Torah uh, to uh, Vedic ritual sacrifice. And um, uh, being that they were definitely in the area at that time period, in the time period of the Assyrian, um, uh, they definitely influenced uh, some of the ideas because uh, they were very highly developed in this sort of thing. And the Torah law codes are, are more developed than in other, other areas. Well, as far as what was found. As far as what was found. Um, there could be something out there that, that hasn't been found yet in archaeology that um, may may turn everything around. However, currently... Uh, so, so that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the time periods. I'm looking at uh, the different uh, sacrificial... Um, rites that went into uh, the Vedic rituals and uh, 
looking into uh, the the Torah uh, sacri sacrificial uh, rituals and um, drawing some uh, comparisons. Now, now another thing that's missing from the idea of uh, now, now you see this in, in post-exilic uh, literature, uh, Babylonian and afterwards, uh, dimensions of heaven and hell being built. Um, uh, added like seven heavens, seven seven depths of hell, such such ideas. Uh, angels being named, um, different roles for different angels, and such things were were in the ancient Near East. Uh, it makes me wonder why more of that wasn't in the older texts. Definitely, you had positive and negative deities. Uh, However, in the early, in the early uh, tribal league material from the Hebrews, doesn't reflect that in the literature. Uh, you you have Yahweh opening up the earth and, and swallowing those who were in dissension against Moses. Uh, that might have something to do with, but but the Vedas uh, were, were uh, kind of developed in this area. Um, about uh, people falling into the pit, and there was a real sense of um, kind of like a underworld of fire, and, and kind of like our modern view of, of hell today. And um, uh, it's pretty elaborate. Uh, it's it's pretty. Um, I'll just read a section over here if if I can find out. I have this book. It's it's uh, it's on the Vedas. Ah, uh, let me find it. I should have been more prepared, but... Uh, there's there's a hymn on faith. Um, I can't find it uh, currently. But, um, so anyways, that's, that's some of the likenesses and differences, and, um... I'm just wondering why uh, such dimensions uh, of literature and of metaphoric and symbolic value um, weren't that well um, organized or that w that well advanced in early tor early um, Hebrew literature. Uh, especially uh, the Vedas were a lot more advanced than, as far as uh, ritual uh, technicalities and things, than even the Egyptians. Uh, and we know that uh, the, there's some Egyptian influence, some Babylonian, Canaanite influence in, um, in Hittite, Akkadian ideas in, in in early Hebrew literature. However, what's absent is this is this. Uh, it seems to me like uh, if if they used some of that, they wouldn't have had to start at, at ground zero, and for some reason they did. However, if it if it would have went, it it would have progressed uh, just like it did in the Vedas, to where uh, the rituals became extremely uh, uh, symbolic and, and metaphoric um, to the to the priests and and to the people who were were uh, participating in in these rituals. Uh, so, so just some thoughts. I don't know if somebody uh, heard anything or can send anything in, uh, some essays on the issue. Uh, it'd be interesting to hear what some people out there have to say. So um, just something I've been thinking about. I could be totally way off in left field. However, I just noticed uh, uh, a comparison with such things, and I'm just thinking about it currently. So um, take care, YouTubers. Take care of yourself and each other. And remember, if every if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.